Could you be making one of these mistakes that are causing more frizz than normal this summer? We all battle frizz in the summer, especially with all of the traveling and swimming and heat and humidity. Frizz is totally normal for curly and wavy hair, but there are some things that you can do to try and prevent it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and here I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love doing simplified step-by-step -step tutorials. I love talking about the science of hair and really helping you problem solve so that everyone can achieve healthier curls. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I also wanted to thank Curlsmith for partnering with me for this video and I'm so excited to tell you guys about their brand new launch and that is the travel edition of the Defrisian hair dryer and diffuser. As you all know, this is my favorite hair dryer that I've been using for a while now. I love the large diffuser head, but traveling with a hair dryer and a diffuser can be such a pain. So I'm so excited to see that they now have the travel edition. So this is a regular hair dryer with a diffuser, but it's a smaller size and you can see that it is foldable. I don't think I've ever seen a foldable diffuser or hair dryer. So this actually folds up so you just extend it so that way you can use it like normal. And then when you wanna pack it in your suitcase for vacation, you can just fold it up and it gets a lot smaller and it's just easier to store too like this. It also has the XL diffuser attachment. So this one is a little bit smaller than the original one that comes with the Defrisian hair dryer, the full size one, but it's still an amazing size and a really great diffuser. So I'm gonna show you all how I use this to prevent frizz in the summertime because diffusing in the summer is key and you don't wanna forget Get to pack your hair dryer and your diffuser when you're on the go. Mistake number one is not protecting your hair from water damage and breakage. Did you know our hair is in its weakest state when it is wet? It's very prone to breakage and frizz. So instead you'll want to try using a pre-poo oil or a pre-shampoo oil treatment. I love using the Curlsmith Shine Oil to dry detangle. I actually prefer to remove the tangles and all the loose hairs before I go in and shampoo. And this just helps me get a better shampoo because I can really get down to my roots without all those tangles in the way. And then my hair doesn't end up just being a matted mess. But the major benefits of using an oil before shampoo is it provides a protective barrier and conditions the hair and then prevents further cuticle chipping protein loss, and so much more from your hair. So if you're really struggling with breakage or if you have high porosity damaged hair, definitely work in a pre-shampoo oil. You can also try using this before you swim or if you are someone that does get your hair wet every single day, if you're a swimmer, apply an oil and that will just reduce that cuticle swelling that happens when our hair gets wet. You can use any oil, but I especially like this one because it's so lightweight so it absorbs really fast. Mistake number two is leaving chlorine, salt water, Water or build up on your hair. If you just got done swimming, then you'll definitely want to make sure that you shampoo your hair as soon as you can to remove those harmful things from your hair. So you'll want to use a shampoo that is very effective at removing stuff, especially chlorine and salt water, but is also very gentle. So I typically just go for a regular mild shampoo. The Curlsmith Shine shampoo is nice because it's fragrance free and I really like the lather that it gives, but it's still very gentle. My hair doesn't feel stripped afterwards because any type of chlorine or salt water can be very drying on the hair. Number three is not thoroughly conditioning your hair. You have to be using some sort of deep conditioner or conditioner to restore that moisture back to your hair. So I'm actually going with the Curlsmith Multitasking Conditioner because this is a great option if you are traveling because you can use it as a regular rinse out conditioner. You can use it as a deep conditioner and leave it on longer, or it can even serve as a leave-in conditioner that you can leave on your hair and then go in and apply your gel. So any type of conditioning product is going to restore that moisture help lower the pH of your hair back down after shampooing and protect it from dry frizz. Another big summer mistake is skipping heat and UV protectant. You want to protect your hair from heat, UV rays, and seawater, and the Curlsmith Miracle Shield does just that. It's very much a multi-purpose product. So you can totally spray it in your hair before you get in the pool or go out in the sun, even if your hair is already styled, but I'm showing you here how I use it on a wash day. So after I get my hair out of the towel and mist it with some water, then I go in with the Miracle Shield. So mistake number five is going straight to drying hair products like a gel or a mousse and not moisturizing your hair first. This can leave your curls very stringy. So I'm first going in with the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. This is a curl cream. It's gonna help to condition, 
soften and help encourage clumps. Whenever I just use a gel or some type of mousse or hairspray, my hair always ends up very dry, especially by day two, and that can lead to a lot of frizz. Especially if you do have dry hair like mine or high porosity hair, you wanna use some type of moisturizer underneath of your gel or your mousse or whatever styler that you choose to use. I'm also combing it through and that's gonna ensure it's evenly distributed. You don't wanna have patchy frizz. So number six is not using enough hold or skipping styling altogether. This is probably one of the most important points from this video, especially in the summer with humidity, you need to be using some sort of gel with hold. I'm first using the Curl Smith Shape Up Aqua Gel, which is actually a light to medium hold gel, but I love the slip that this gives and gives amazing curl clumps and I still get a lot of fullness and volume with this. I'm doing some brush styling too, because any type of styling technique like brush styling or finger coiling is gonna help your curls last so much longer, especially in humidity. Then I'm topping it off with the Shine Gel, which is a very strong hold gel. This gel is very thick, so I do like to add some water to my palms and just mix that together just to thin it out. And then I'm just sort of scrunching and glazing it in. This method of layering gels gives me really great results because I still get a lot of volume and fullness. My hair doesn't look too stringy or too crunchy, but I'm still getting good hold on top. It's like a veil of hold and humidity protection. The Shine Gel also does contain humidity blocking ingredients by the way and it's fragrance free which is awesome also most of the curlsmith products come in these travel sizes which make it really convenient for traveling and not taking up too much space also i wanted to just share how the brush styling is what is giving me these really nice curl clumps and that's going to make everything last so much longer then after i'm done styling in sections i like to just shake out the roots so you don't see any lines from my sectioning and then i'm taking my curlsmith microfiber towel and i'm actually going to spritz it with some water and then scrunch my hair or you can just use a wet section this is going to prevent it from absorbing too much moisture and you won't get any frizz when you're scrunching but this micro plopping technique is going to speed up your dry time, make it so much faster for your hair to dry, especially if it's humid out. If your hair is super wet and you styled soaking wet, it's going to take forever for it to dry. Which leads me to mistake number seven, and that is air drying in humid climates or just using a hair dryer without a diffuser. Do not forget to pack your hair dryer when you are traveling. And luckily, the new Curlsmith travel edition of the Diffrision hair dryer is foldable. It has dual voltage, so you can use it if you're traveling internationally and it fits right in your suitcase. So diffusing is going to set the curl shape, lock the gel cast in right away, and dry your hair quickly to prevent frizz. So I do this every styling routine. You'll wanna make sure you bring your diffuser with you if you're gonna be traveling because you'll still wanna use it like when you refresh. If you do get your hair very wet when you refresh on any wash days that you'll be doing while traveling as well. I always use a diffuser because I just like my results so much better. Every time that I air dry, my hair ends up so much frizzier and just stringy. And when it's humid outside, it's gonna take forever for it to dry because there's already so much water in the air and that's just gonna cause that cuticle to swell. So getting it dried down and getting that cast in your hair quickly is what's going to protect it. So I just wanted to share a little bit more about this diffuser. I love the original Curlsmith Diffrision hair dryer, so I was so excited to see that they now have a more compact version of this. It has a six inch diffuser head, which is smaller than the original, but still a really great size to just fit all your curls in there at once. It's very lightweight and foldable, as I mentioned. It also comes with a storage bag and it's designed for curls. So this is not going to get too hot for your curls, even on the highest heat setting. I usually switch between like a medium and high heat. And I also usually use the low fan speed. It does have a higher fan speed as well and a cold shot button. And if you'll notice these little prongs on the back, that's actually a kickstand. So you can do hands-free diffusing. So if you wanna just prop it up on your counter, you can just plop your curls down in the bowl and you don't even have to hold it. Now this is just a bonus step, but I'm actually going to be using some of the Shine Oil as a finishing oil. Whenever I use a very strong hold gel like this, I do like to use an oil to scrunch out some of that crunch just to really soften it up and add a ton of shine. You can skip scrunching out the crunch though if you want your curls to last a lot longer. So I just wanted to share some bonus tips with you all when it comes to keeping the frizz at bay in the summer and also while you are traveling and going on vacation. So the number one tip that I have for you all, and this is something I always do before I leave for a trip, no matter if it's in the summer or in the winter time, that is I style before I leave the night before and I leave the gel cast in. This makes the world of a difference and that way I can have my hair fresh for a vacation and hopefully I don't have to wash it again while I'm there. But if I am going to be somewhere, you know, 
know, for a week, I'll obviously have to do one more wash day, but this helps me get through with minimal refreshing, which saves so much time. So I will style my hair as I showed you, but then I will just not scrunch out that gel cast. Ideally, I'm doing this the morning of before I leave, or maybe it's the night before. Then I will put on my sleep protection, which is a silk bonnet, and I will wear that to prevent the cast from breaking up too much. And that cast is going to keep the curls intact and prevent frizz. And then the next day, I'll even leave it in as long as possible. So maybe during traveling, during a flight or a long car ride, you can even wear your bonnet or a scarf if you want to, to protect the curls. And then when you get to where you wanna go and you wanna have nice looking curls, you can definitely scrunch out the crunch, but keep that crunch in if you wanna protect your curls. And my next tip is what I just mentioned, and that is to protect your curls overnight and during traveling. So don't forget to pack your bonnet or your scarf. You can also take a silk or a satin scarf. Curlsmith has some really cute ones. I always bring this with me when I'm going to the pool or to the beach because it keeps my curls protected. It even protects them from the sun and it looks cute so I don't feel as weird like I would maybe wearing a bonnet out in public. I can wear a scarf which looks like a cute accessory or a cute hairstyle and it keeps my curls protected. Every time I go to the beach I always have my hair up in this and then with a sun hat on on top and that keeps my curls nice and protected and even keeps them out of the wind and from blowing around all over the place. So don't forget to check out the new travel edition of the Diffusion hair dryer with the XL diffuser attachment. I will have it linked for you down below along with all the products that I use in this video including the Miracle Shield, which is excellent for protecting your curls this summer. And if you're looking for more product recommendations when it comes to the humidity and fighting frizz in the humidity, then you can check out the recent video that I did all about the best anti-humidity products for your curls. I will have that video linked right here on the screen and I will talk to you over there. Bye everyone.